Welcome to the Ruckus Associates Smart Zone Administrator demonstration series for Smart Zone OS 5 release. In this course, we will show you the functionality of Smart Zone OS 5, along with the basic configuration of the many aspects of the controller. In this video, we'll talk about configuring Bonjour policies for use with Apple devices. If you're deploying Apple devices and services on a network, you'll find that they can be quite chatty, and so we need to make sure that the network traffic is managed efficiently. And for that, we'll use Bonjour policies. What is Bonjour? Bonjour is Apple's implementation of zero configuration protocol for Apple devices over IP networks. Bonjour includes service discovery, address assignment, and hostname resolution, and locates devices such as printers, Apple, iOS phones, other computers and services like Apple TV and iTunes sharing on a local network. Bonjour services function within a single broadcast domain in a small subset of communications within that broadcast domain. So we'll need assistance to route between VLANs, and for that we use the Bonjour gateway. But you may also want to limit the extent of the transmissions made by Apple devices, and for that we'll use Bonjour fencing. The underlying operation of the Apple Bonjour service is quite complex and beyond the scope of this course. Here we'll perform a simplified implementation in SmartZone. First we'll create and apply a Bonjour gateway policy to manage service access across virtual LANs or VLANs. I'll show how to create a policy and then assign it to an access point that has visibility to the VLANs that need to be bridged. Only one access point needs to have the policy defined. Any Apple devices attached to the WLAN are then able to find Apple services via Bonjour discovery even across VLANs. Like most things in SmartZone, we first create a policy, then apply it where appropriate. A Bonjour gateway policy will define rules for bridging source and destination VLANs for specific services. Creating the policy is very similar to other policies you've created. First you create the policy, add the services, and then apply it to an access point. You can create multiple policies, but each policy should be applied only once. In order to create a uh, Bonjour gateway policy, we'll first go to Services and Profiles and select Bonjour from the menu and make sure that Gateway is selected. Uh, we will drill down to the zone in which we want to define our policy and uh, make sure that we uh, set Enable Bonjour Gateway on the AP to On. So we'll select that, then click Create to create the policy. And uh, as with everything, policies are made up of rules. We'll give our policy a name. Call it TMAX Bonjour Gateway. We can add a description if we want and then click Create to create a rule. Now, the service, uh, the Apple Bonjour service is uh, somewhere in this uh, drop down. And we'll select the from VLAN, which is the VLAN where the service is being advertised from, and the to VLAN, which is the VLAN where. Uh, your client devices will uh, get access to the uh, Apple TV service. All right, and then click OK to save. And there we go. Now, in order to apply this to an access point, we'll go to Access Points. We'll go down, drill down to our zone. Select the access point that we want. And in configuration, we're going to go into the advanced options. Scrolling down. OK, and then in here, we're going to turn on Bonjour Gateway and select the policy that we just defined. So that's it, fairly straightforward. Again, you only need to define uh, the policy once and assign it to uh, a single AP within the zone. Bonjour fencing provides a mechanism for limiting the scope of Bonjour MDNS service discovery in the physical plane. 
It limits the range of Bonjour service discovery based on physical location because logical VLAN network boundaries don't always correlate to physical space such as a building or a floor. In this section, we'll create a fencing policy to apply to the selected zone. Next, we'll create a Bonjour fencing policy and apply it to a zone. So again, we'll go to Services and Profiles, drill down a Bonjour, and this time we'll select the Fencing tab. Select the zone in which we want to create the policy and click Create. We'll give our policy a name. And we will create a fencing rule here. Now, uh, first off, you can select either a wireless or a wired device type, uh, depending on how uh, the service or the uh, device advertising the service is connected to the network. If it's wired, then you have to define uh, or select the closest AP physically, which creates an anchor point for uh, the physical location. Um, and then uh, uh, you also need to specify the MAC address of the device advertising the service. Um, but we'll, uh, for demonstration purposes, we'll select wireless. You'll notice that that's all grayed out. We'll select the service that we want. And um, our choices are to fence within the same AP. So only those uh, devices connected to the same AP or a one-hop AP neighbor. Uh, so this limits the uh, physical range of the um, uh, of the network advertising transmissions. So I'll click OK. And uh, I can add additional rules here, but I'll just keep it simple and click OK here. All right, now to... Uh, there, there's no step needed to apply this um, since this will apply to the WLANs defined within the zone. Okay, so that's it for uh, defining a, a fencing policy. So thanks for your attention on this module uh, covering Bonjour Gateway and Bonjour Fencing.